The Rift, a mysterious realm between worlds, inhabited by pawns and accessible only to the Arisen. Or is it? In this video, I am going to try to answer the question of what exactly is the Rift and what role does it play in the world of Dragon's Dogma. To be able to answer that question, we must first look at the structure of the universe of Dragon's Dogma. The world we knew is but a single leaf upon a vast tree. The universe is made up of multiple worlds, each separate with their own stories, land, events and inhabitants, all connected through the Everfall and the Rift. To my understanding, the Rift exists between these worlds, connects them, binds them and keeps things together. It is most likely possible that the Rift is vital to the survival of the very universe of Dragon's Dogma. I believe the Rift to be vast. It is said to be only a sliver of other worlds, but it's the sliver of multiple worlds. And it is said that only the Arisen can access the Rift, and only the Pawns can travel between these worlds through the mysterious Rift Stones, which serves as gateways between the realms of the Rift and each and every world. But is that really the case? What about the Erdragon, a creature said to be the first dragon to ever exist, traveling through the rift to numerous other worlds? What about Diamond, a creature of immense power, and Grigori, the servant of the Seneschal? And what about the various locations that are believed to exist within the rift? As I mentioned earlier, it is said that the Erdragon, which is believed to be the first of its kind in existence, can travel through the rift to other worlds in search of the hearts of newly awakened Arisen. If the Erdragon can travel through the rift, it could be safe to say that Grigori, which is also a dragon, could do the same thing. While there's evidence that there possibly existed more than one dragon at the same time, it is not impossible that Grigori is tasked with searching for an Arisen in more than one world. And there's also Daimon, a creature that resides in Bitterbad Island, a place that is believed to either exist in the rift or possibly beyond, inhabited by creatures never seen before, attracting various arisens from different worlds and even different timelines. Once in his second form, he mentions, Slave to a broken order, dare you look upon the truth? I have seen a scattering of countless myriad souls. They gather and flow to become as the river of time, expanding to fill the firmament. What a base and trifling creature is man. Yet at once is he the master of this imperial flow. Grind is all the heavens. I bid you, hone your spirit, refine it. I shall await you. Surely, a creature of such immense power and knowledge could be able to travel through the rift. While not confirmed, I believe that it is possible for immensely powerful creatures such as the Erdragon and Diamond to either force their way into the rift or travel through it to further nefarious deeds. This raises the question, is it possible to travel from one location and world to another through the rift? I believe so. The rift is an otherworldly place, full of many mysteries. Pawns can travel between multiple worlds and the rift stones are gateways between individual worlds and the rift. Though most likely extremely difficult, in theory this makes it possible to enter the rift and find another rift stone on the other side and enter a different world. It is possible that there exists evidence of this potentially happening. There is a set of alphabetical runes associated with spellcasting. It appears on the caster sigil such as that used by magic arches. This alphabet has been decoded from writing found in Listania, the world of Dragon's Dome Online, which has multiple dragons and multiple arisen. This leads me to the various locations that are believed to exist within the rift. Amongst these are Bitter Black Isle, 
the chamber lament, the everfall, and potentially even the Seneschal's chamber. I will state that both Bitter Black Isle and the Seneschal's chamber is also believed to exist beyond them, but it's not truly known whether it's in or beyond. Now that being said, I believe that in either case they are connected to the rift and ultimately accessible through it. The reason to why I mention this is because of the prospect of there existing not just other locations but also other creatures such as the Erdrag or potentially other never before seen pawns. Although life in the rift would most likely not be life as we know it and it would most likely be very difficult to navigate in the rift due to its mysterious nature. Time does not seem to flow in the rift. No matter how much time the Arisen spends in the rift, the outside world always remains unchanged and whenever you enter the rift by one of its portals, you will find yourself in an area surrounded by a barrier, keeping the Arisen from traveling any further into the mysterious void beyond the rift stone. It is unknown if there exists a way to traverse through this barrier or if it is possible to either force your way through it or simply destroy it. But I suspect that it is possible considering the fact that the Pawn Legion moved through the barrier effortlessly and the Erdrang is said to travel through the rift. And if you look closely at the barrier, you can see that it very much resembles a natural stone wall that you could climb and it's even possible that there have existed other risks that have done so but maybe got lost in the rift due to its strange nature. We stand at the trunk of all the branching worlds, the very root, to shaft is the axis along which all turns, tis the source, the threshold to truth and all beyond, the center of everything, the eye of the storm, the root of the world and the seat of God, the everfall. As earlier mentioned, the universe of Dragon's Dogma is made up of multiple worlds and in the middle of all these worlds, connected to all of them, is the Everfall. If fully open, the Everfall is in early conceptions referred to as the Endless Tower, a tower that seems to exist both in the Rift and all the other worlds at the same time and forms links between these many parallel worlds. It seems like the Everfall is one of the few existing permanent locations within the Rift, although seemingly not accessible from within the Rift itself. It is my belief that the Everfall serves as a binding point or as an anchor within the Rift to connect all the worlds in the universe and to serve both as a gateway and a trial for the Arisen before they meet the Seneschal. The dark void of the Everfall seems without end and yet you feel compelled to press on to some final destination. Within the shattered Everfall, the pawn of an Arisen of a former age seeks the Arisen's help. She asks the Arisen to collect 20 wake stones. In his post-dragon state, the circular spiral path has been split, distorted and fragmented into separate ledges around the side of the chasm, which leads to a number of chambers containing various dangerous monsters. These monsters, when defeated in combat, will drop wakestone shards and wakestones, with bosses dropping at least two. I believe this to be the last trial for the Rus before he can enter the chamber of the central, which is most likely only accessible through the Everfall, summoning a rift using the 20 wake stones, proving that they might be possible to harness the rift and potentially travel through it to any location, even the seat of God. While there are many unknowns, I have through extensive research, reading through several articles, watching interviews and reading the in-game description of multiple items and the backstory of many characters in the game, come to the conclusion that the Rift is a mysterious realm of its own, existing between worlds, connecting them and binding them together through the Everfall, a great anchor in a sea of worlds echoing throughout this mysterious realm. It is also my conclusion that the Rift is unfinished. I believe that there were more plans for it, 
before they got caught. Although speculation, it is not impossible to envision locations, ponds, creatures, and potentially even settlements. In a sea of reflections from multiple worlds, the echoes of life, movement, sound, laughter, and deep down in the waves of this ocean of darkness, something, observing, watching, waiting. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. It is the first of many where I dive deep into the lore and the world of Dragon's Dogma, trying to understand its many mysteries and answer the many questions that you are left with after playing the game.